Philippa and Kamiko, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Have your past seven months been going? Crazy. I mean, <laughs> as well as they can be. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been a crazy yeah. time. Yeah. So I love this film, but most importantly, I loved both of your voice performances in it. I thought you brought so much joy and fun and you could really hear just the happiness in your voices in this film. So what did you like best about recording and making this film? Well, um, in terms of actually recording it, the experience was so, so beautiful and wonderful. Um, just knowing I was entering into a, represent, a representative cast and um, being able to tell an Asian story was so important to me. But Glenn Keane, who's our you know fearless leader, amazing director, such a supportive, lovely man, um, he just made it made the environment so wonderful and playful and lively and really encouraged me to go for it all the way. And then he would just like get specific, and it was just like a really beautiful dance of just creativity and it was so much fun to make. I feel, like my favorite, I feel like my favorite part was watching all of the other moving parts that were happening around me. Um, not only getting to experience just the layering that happens with animation. I mean, it's incredible how many, um, how many processes there are in terms of getting to that moment that you see in the film. Um, the animators were incredible. They, they took some footage of us actually in the recording booth and they like played with, you know, their facial expressions and, and tried to find some that were like similar in the moments that we had when we were recording. So it's really just this huge collaborative effort. And, um, you know, you're alone recording most of the time. So I really didn't get to hear much of the process that my fellow actors were going through. So seeing the film for the first time was so beautiful and meaningful. And I was just in awe of everyone. Um, I laughed and I cried like everybody else. Um, but I felt so proud to, to be a part of it. How does it feel for both of you to be a part of an all Asian voice cast? And how does it feel for the movie to come out now, especially at a time where we've seen so much xenophobia in the past few months? Yeah, I mean, I think it's exactly what we need right now. You know, like Orange is the New Black, humanized, incarcerated um, citizens. I, I think that this can do the same. And it's also just such a universal story about love and loss and i think a lot of people are dealing with loss and grief right now and um you know be it a loved one or or just you know the loss of the life that they once had you know i think that it's going to really resonate with a lot of people and i think it couldn't come at a better time i also think that there's a theme of um that that healing can't really happen unless you come together with other people that a lot of that process means about that means that you have to reach out and maybe that means you need to reach out to someone who has a very different background, different story than your own. Um, personally, for me, I'm so proud to be telling um, a Chinese story. I've, I've never gotten to play um, a specifically written Chinese character. And um, this is my first time being a part of an all Asian cast. So I felt like the entire time I was just celebrating, you know, not only the art itself, but the endeavor that we were all making together. And it's such a wonderful film and, and I am so honored and, and proud to be a part of it. So in the film, food and family and love all go hand in hand. So what are some of your family traditions or foods from growing up that like you hold near and dear? Um, well, as a, as a young Japanese girl, um, <laughs> my mom, but I grew up in Arizona. So um, my mom wanted to make sure that I still held on to my Japanese culture. So I would go to Japanese school every Saturday um, where she taught and she made sure that I was surrounded by Japanese speaking people. And every summer for two to three months, I always looked forward to it. We would go to Japan and live in my grandpa's house where she grew up. And I was so familiar with the children there because um, she would during the day have me go to Japanese school or obviously Japanese school, but you know, school there, they had year round school. And so I was very familiar with the kids there. And it was always my favorite time of the year was to go um, to Japan for the summer. I feel like my, 
my family definitely really connected over food. Um, you see the lazy Susan in the middle of the table, uh, that round table in the in the film, and that resonated entirely with me. Um, we love to make, um, you know, some of the recipes that my grandmother, my late grandmother would make us. We love making cold noodles, cold sesame noodles. That's just sort of like my comfort food. And I feel like at any chance I get, I want to make it for my friends who've never had it before. <laughs> Well, thank you, ladies. Thank you so much for your art and your work. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank, thank you. you.